Hi guys, my name is Brianna and my page is The Art of Pampering and we do a whole bunch of things on this page and one of the things that I wanted to do today is to show you a little bit of the yoga that I do before bed to prevent restless leg syndrome. Now it has taken me so many years, I won't say how old I am, but it's taken me so many years to figure out how to get my restless legs to calm down and I've had them my entire life. So it really took me focusing on where the restless leg jumpiness stemmed from. And I focused on tracing the jumpiness all the way up my leg into my hip joint. And what connects your hip to your leg is a bunch of ligaments, but the big one is what's called your IT band. And when that is too tight, that is what causes your legs to start to get jumpy. So I'm going to show you how to stretch your IT band through a couple different moves because I know some people can't do um, full on yoga. So I'll show you a couple modifications too. So I'm going to pop back there. Yes, my dog's right over there on the side of the camera there. Um, but I'm going to move back so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, let's start. So hopefully you can see my whole body. I'm going to turn to the side so you can make sure that you're in the proper form when you're doing this, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to start with taking a deep inhale up and we'll stretch our arms upward towards the, towards the sky. Ready? And then we're going to swan dive down like this and we're going to reach just reach as far as you can towards your toes. And like I said, I do this right before bed um, so that... <laughs> I can go to bed without my legs feeling all jumpy. All right, so we're just going to hold this for a few seconds and just go as far as you can. Okay, and I'm going to have to kick my cat out of the way to step into downward dog. All right, so you're going to just walk your hands out and I'm going to move my cat <laughs> and just move your feet back just a little bit. And you, your goal is that you want to try and get your heels to touch the floor eventually. And you want to make sure that this line right here from your butt down to your hands is as straight as possible. So you want to push down towards the floor, like with your armpits, with your shoulders. And we're going to hold this a few seconds. And the trick is coming up. So stay tuned here for just a couple seconds while you stretch your hamstrings out. And like I said, you want to push your heels towards the floor. All right, so here comes the trick. All right, so you're going to, it doesn't matter which one, because you're going to do both sides. But you're going to bend one leg, and I'm choosing to bend my right leg here. And you're going to open up your hip right here. And you're going to tilt it towards the ceiling. And you should feel the stretch all the way up in here and right around your hip flexor. And that's going to stretch out your IT band. And I like to hold this for a while, for about 20 seconds. I'm not going to hold it the full length here because I'm going to show you the other side too. Because I want to show you the bent leg. All right, so we're going to switch back. You come back to downward dog. You're going to bend the left leg, and you're going to tilt your right hip up towards the ceiling. And again, you should feel the stretch up into your hip flexor around your hip joint, and you want to hold that. And you don't want to feel pain. I'm not going to say you want to feel pain, but I want you to push it to the point where you feel just a tiny bit of discomfort and then keep that stretch. All right, and we'll come back to downward dog. And if you wanna stretch out your calf muscles a little bit, bend both knees and still try and push your hips or your heels towards the floor. And that should stretch out your calf muscles. All right, come back to downward dog. And we're just gonna walk our hands back towards our feet. Hold that for a couple seconds. And you're going to take one big deep inhale breath and you're going to swan dive up towards the ceiling. So ready? One, two, three. Inhale up. And then bring your hands together and we're going to bring them down to heart center and breathe out. All right, so that is one way that we're going to stretch. The other way is for those who might not be able to stretch like that because of an injury or arthritis or whatever your, whatever your problem may be, 
but eventually I really like you to try and work your way up to that stretch because that really is what stretches out those IT bands the, the best way. But here's a way to do it if you have a little bit of an issue with that stretch. So what I want you to do is I want you to put your feet out in front of you like this. So you should be able to see the pads of your feet. And it's okay if you can't reach your toes. Don't worry about it. But here's what you're going to do. You're going to cross one leg over. And don't worry which one because you're going to do both sides. Okay. So you cross your leg over. And you're just going to twist your body like this. And you should feel a stretch right here. Make sure that when you twist that you're lifting up first and then twisting your body. You always want to protect your spine. Make sure that you try and keep your abs tight. And if that is not quite challenging enough, you want to bend your knee and put it right next to the straight leg knee. And again, twist right here and you should feel this stretch right here. And I'll do it one more time on the other side. Okay, and we'll untwist. And again, cross it over. And you want to start here if you're really, really tight and twist. And if you want to do a little bit more of a sh cross your leg over and again, twist. Okay, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching my tips about how to prevent restless leg syndrome. And if you have any other ones or suggestions that um, you've come up with over your time experiencing restless legs, just throw them down in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to my page so you stay in the know about all the things that I'm posting about the art of pampering. And I will see you guys later. Okay? Bye.